Hello folks, and welcome back in the shop. Now have a look at what came in the mail the other day. Those here are a bunch of electronics. An Arduino Mega, a Rams 1.4 shield, some Bololo drivers, and a setup with an LCD screen, an encoder and an SD card reader. Blah 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 blah. This is actually a kit with all the electronics to make a controller for that 3D printer that we are making. But the most interesting part of all this lies here, on the packaging. For all those things, as you can hopefully see down here on that yellow sticker, I paid 23 euros and 31 cents. This is the actual price and it is pretty awesome. It is almost a steal. But down here you can also see that I paid another 20 euros and 59 cents for customs and fees and all. This is definitely a steal. But even if you put aside the ridiculous charges, which were that close to being greater than the thing's actual price, there is an even bigger problem here. I'm waiting for this package until the end of January, I think it was. Well, not this specific one, and sure, I got this one for more than two weeks now, but here is how it goes. I ordered one in almost mid-January. It took a fair amount of time to get here from China, and once it did, the customs got it. Held it for about a month and later decided to send it back to China. Although this may be partly on the seller to blame. Then I ordered this one. Once again, fair amount of shipping time and then boom, customs. They hold it for a week or two before informing you that you have to provide a receipt from where you got that, a screenshot of your PayPal transaction, proof of which, number of shoe you are wearing, and so on. And even after providing those, it will take around two weeks time before you get a phone call to inform you that you can now visit the local post office, pay some ridiculous charges, receive your package and whatever this contains, and go use it on whatever it is you intended using it on in the first place. If you even remember, I mean. The reason that I'm telling you all those things is that talking to an audience of people, just like the way that I feel the need to state the right, give credit to everybody and reward people's labor and honesty, I also feel the need to state the unfair and expose some wonkers from time to time. Oh, hello Amazon. Hello Ada. So today we're making a 3D printer. This thing here is a Cartesian cantilever 3D printer. Cantilevers is what those type of printers having this column here are called. Thanks for that, Anthony. And it is exactly as I designed it a few months back and as I am supposed to build it. But as you can see right here next to me, I have made some changes. So let's have a look on what I have done here. Shall we? I've never cried all my life till I met you, girl. It's simple, oh, you're really cruel. You never see me when I want you to. You got me gone, I got you too. Hey, if you're scared, I'll come to the rescue. You know I've fallen in love, girl. I'll pick myself up in the whole world. The way you move, I shiver. It's a sea of love that I'm drowning in Well, you don't know, I'll make it clear You got someone who loves you dear I know you're scared, afraid of love But I'm here to make your heart rise above Let me see, let me see, let me see Let me see, let me see, let me see Let me see, let me see, let me see I sent you flowers just to tell you how I feel But I still don't know if your love for me is real I know I'm traumatizing, but when the sun is shining I think of you, it gets my tongue tied It gets my mind fried, it gets my eyes wide open 
Now I see, so I sing. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy on my mind. Lucy, won't you choose me? Lucy on my mind. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy on my mind. Lucy, won't you choose me? Lucy on my mind. Oh, Lucy, ah, Lucy, you get me sniffers right down my backbone. Oh, Lucy, yeah, Lucy, you get me hot even when I'm in the cold. Oh, Lucille, what even is your deal? I send you all my love, but then you file an appeal. Am I mistaken? Are you still taken? It seems to me to be the latter of the two. I want you. Fly into my arms, untie your chains and show me all your charm. I want you to hold me real tight. I tell you that I love you and that everything's alright. I want you to want me. I'm on my knees just to beg and just to plead. Lucy, 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 won't you choose me? Lucy, on my mind. by distrusting our instincts and had to take a moment and had to purposely arrange and discipline and push our lives around in accordance with foresight and words and systems of symbols, accountancy, calculation and so on. And then we worry. Once you start thinking about things, you worry as to whether you've thought enough. Now the original idea was to mount this the other way around, with the white side facing this way, this means. But not having made the holes on those two pieces before the glue up, it made it rather impossible to do now, at least for me and the tools that I have here. So I turned them 90 degrees 
and mounted them the other side. Pretty much the same thing. And even this way, it gave me a quite hard time when I was drilling in here. So I had to cut off one of those spade bits. And I know, it kinda hurts when you destroy a perfectly working tool, but a tool is only good if it can serve you, right? Other than that, the holes on the wooden side are purposely oversized for this size of wood. So that you can make adjustments. Not that it's of any significance, but there is that I suppose. Now let's have a glue up bearings. And there is that also. Now we need to mount the rest of the axis up here. X and Z. And it is this thing that we made in the first video of this series. So let's do that now.
And there you have it. And it seems pretty square at first glance. But of course we will have to fine tune it. This whole side to the right here is adjustable. You can tilt those square cubes here as we saw, both ways. And I have also made the holes up here on this block bigger than the bolts used, so you can move this whole thing up there too. Which of course changes the geometry since you are moving this side of those axes here, and not this one down here, if it makes any sense. Oh, and it came out quite rigid too. You can beat it all you want. But as for this fine tuning I mentioned, I will not really bother for now. It is pretty pointless at this time, as I will have to take this whole thing apart again and mount all the steppers with belts and according pulleys, screw a nut for the vertical axis. But having made what I believe to be enough progress for today, I will leave all those things for the next time. So until then, you'll have a nice one.